Alright, Swirat in the house, uh, pemain uh, warisan negara, heritage player yang berkelana ke Liga Thailand tapi hasrat dia untuk uh, kekal beraksi bersama nombor api cahaya tidak kesampaian kerana ada masalah teknikal membabitkan caps antarabangsa. So Swirat, uh, you have signed contract with Nombua but after that, uh, we are shocked that uh, a news you can't play there. So what happened Swirat? Um, well, obviously, I went over there uh, and I had a fantastic experience mm. and they wanted me to stay for T1. But unfortunately, um, after signing the contract, the extension, um, they pushed uh, from their side, Malaysia pushed from their side to allow me to play. But unfortunately, it seems that we can't get past the, the three cap rule. Um, so, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean. It's really disappointing, but um, we've tried everything we can to get past the ruling. Mm. Um, but it seems like that that's not possible, unfortunately. All right. Uh, how many times you have tried to appeal, uh, maybe maybe appeal to play there? Um, I've got to say Stuart Ramalingam. All right. He twice, uh, well, he wrote a letter to the Thailand FA directly mm. asking, you know, because it's a bit of a different situation. We were hoping that because I got promoted with the team. Yeah. That um, that it might be they might allow it. It's not as though I'm coming from the outside in and asking for an exemption. Mm. I got promoted with the team, so they were hoping that um, I'm, you know we'd find a way past the ruling. Mm. Uh, Stuart, I think, contacted Thailand FA twice. Uh, Nambua did everything they could, making calls, writing letters, um, but it looks like we hit a brick wall, unfortunately. Yep. All right, kamu kamu sedih. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sangga sangga sedih. Tapi <laughs> tapi yeah. ini biasa ni ini bola sepak saya so mesti kerja dan you know what happens happens you know. Alright. Masa depan tak tahu apa apa uh, happen. You know, yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay. Uh, but uh, I feel that you are sad. Uh, so how do you see the situation? You are among players that help the team to qualify mm -hmm. to the first division, I think. Mm -hmm. So yeah, how do you see the situation? You have the team, but you can't continue with this team. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I played a very, very small part. You know, I yeah. went over there, and they, I think the very team. Short period, right? Yeah, yeah, but mm. they had the best. They had the best defensive record in probably Thailand, maybe Southeast Asia. They mm. conceded maybe I think twelve goals in twenty six, twenty eight games mm. when I went there. So getting into that team. I'm playing a few games and showing enough that they wanted to keep me. I was I was proud of that, um, but yeah, it, it was it was a fantastic experience. It was absolutely it was brilliant. They they made me feel part of the family. And like I said in previous interviews, it's a totally different football culture to Malaysia. Everything about it was different. And um, being honest, I want to return to Thai football in the future mm, for right. sure. Okay, how do you see the Nombua treat you? Because I heard they treat you well enough. Superb. I can't mm. speak highly enough of Nambua and what they did for me. From the moment I got there, I mean, I've got to be honest, um, it, it's a difficult place to live in. Yep. Nambua mm. is a difficult place to live in. And it's, it's quite... Um, I didn't have the finer luxuries in life that you okay. might have in KL or in yes. other parts of Malaysia. Mm. But in terms of going into the changing room, feeling part of the family, you know, um, the changing room was united. Oh, okay. Which I've not really experienced too much in Malaysia, to be honest, mm. with the um, differences. But it was from start to begin to at the end. You know, I think the culture over there is very, very open and accepting. Mm. Um, and yeah, it was from they were brilliant with me. Honestly, I can't speak highly enough for them. But, and even now, to the point where I speak to the um, to the general manager, and he tells me that. You know, when you get the three caps, we'll let you know. Do what you need to do. You've got the contract, but if you need to look after your future, right. we support you. But when you do get the three caps, make sure you give us a call back, and that means the world to me, to be honest. Mm, okay, so uh, we can say that they treat you as a like superstar. No, not super. No, 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 no. <laughs> me, I'm never a superstar. No, 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 no. No, they treat me just as as a human being, as a right. as a family, as part of the family. Mm, okay. You know, and that, and that's because I wouldn't want to be treated as a superstar. Okay. I want to, you know, no, no, for real, though, you know, I want to. They, they treat me as another, as as one of them, and that that meant the world to me. So. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, in short period, uh, how do you see and can you compare uh, between Thai league and Malaysian league? Any big comparison? Yeah. There's there's being honest. There's a I think. Uh, Sumamin spoke about the difference in mentality. Right. Maybe 
the local players are a bit more. Um, obviously, this is generalising massively, but in general, you know, usually in Malaysia, you'd have to scream at the players to do an ice bath afterwards, and oh. over there. It's a bit more, they take it upon themselves mm. to look after the bodies and treat their bodies well. Um, the culture, I said, is, very, is, is totally different to Malaysia, so obviously that leads to differences in the way they go about their work and on the field and off the field. Um, they like to drink as well <laughs> off the field, which is a big, obviously, you know, a big difference as well. Um, but it, it was, like I said, I, Malaysia's given me so much. I'm so grateful for everything Malaysia's given to me and it's part of my heritage. Mm. But for that, for those few months as well, I experienced something totally different that helped me as a person and a player. Yeah, okay. Uh, mentioned about the difficult place in Nombwa. Mm -hmm. uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, Nombwa um, located far, far, not, far from not in Thailand, right? No, yeah, yeah, north, 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 north east, Isan, Isan province. Okay, all right. So can you share the experience there? Um, yeah, like I said, it's 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 difficult. There's no in the village. There's no uh, there's no taxis. Oh. There's no nothing. It takes five minutes to drive around okay. the, the place. Um, the food is mm. even by Thai standards is the hottest of the hot. Okay. So like when I, you tell them my pet, you know, uh, <laughs> for the you know for the food, but not spicy. But okay. um, but even then it. it it blows your mouth. Oh, right. <laughs> the food is difficult, um, and not many people speak English either. Mm. So, in terms of outside of my comfort zone, it was okay. a massive, massive, massive mm. step. But the hearts were good, and yeah. you know that's that kind of goes past any of those issues. Yeah. That is part of challenge as a footballer, right? Mm. Okay. So, uh, my next question is your your destination after this. You can't play in Thailand, but for sure you will be back in Malaysia. So, can you share with us uh, your plan after this? Um, yeah, <laughs> half. Obviously, I can't say too much. It's been nice that I've spoken to um, five or six clubs, to be honest. Mm. And obviously, I, I told you after, straight after this, I'm going to, <laughs> to meet another club. Um, but apart from that, yeah, hopefully, hopefully something comes from that. And it's nice to, to hear from that. I've also. Thai League Twos going back there is also an option, um, mm. but um, with the situation as it is, I think travelling and doing all the quarantine again and the visa process, might, it might be something that I have to say for the future. Mm, all right. Uh, you have played with Malacca, Piken and Selangor, uh, GDT as well. Mm -hmm. So which team you, pre you, yeah, you like to play after this? Well, honestly, <laughs> honestly, no, I can't. No, 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 I can't. Um, I just want to. I, I just want to be in a good environment, enjoy my football, and right. be uh, a productive member of the team. One of the things that I was a bit disappointed in, I think, not going to Thailand. There was two things, predominantly, in terms of. First of all, like my style of football was appreciated in maybe Thailand a bit more in terms of I think I spoke about it before to you mm. where I'm not a I'm not a warrior defender mm. I'm a bit I use I try to use my head a bit more mm. and I feel that was appreciated straight away in right. Thailand obviously I can't say too much it's been nice that I've spoken to um, five or six clubs to be honest mm. and obviously I, I told you after straight after this I'm going to, <laughs> to meet another club um, but apart from that yeah hopefully Hopefully something comes from that, and it's nice to, to hear from that. I've also, Thai League Twos, going back there is also an option, but at the moment, yeah, it, it, looks, it looks most likely Malaysia. Mm. So when you will finalise? Well, hopefully before the window, <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I'll have problems, mate. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, in the coming days. Alright. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> thank you, Suret. Dan sudah pasti itu yang dinantikan oleh peminat Bersepak Tanah Air mengenai perkembangan Nick Swiret ke mana hala tujuhnya selepas ini banyak pasukan dikaitkan tetapi kita simpan dulu di sini kita akan bawakan perkembangan ini dari semasa ke semasa Zuel Mizan Al-Azam untuk Nadia Tanah